Hey guys, well, as most of you know, I just uh, went on a little family vacation. Uh, went up to Atlanta, uh, downtown Atlanta, a couple of different places, and uh, also went to Orlando for a couple of days. So I just wanted to share some of the things I picked up on, uh, you know, little knickknacks here and there that I picked up on, on, on my trip. Uh, as you can see, I've got these, uh, these two pens right here. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but, uh, you know, I figured most people, you know, when you see a cool pen, you just pick it up because a pen is something that uh, you can always use and get some use out of, so it's not wasted money. But I, I really like these these particular pens because, um, let me show you right here, um, let's see if it'll, if it'll focus on that. Uh, it's, uh, they're called Remarkables, and it's just a, uh, it's this, a steel pen here to click click back right there. But if you read right here, it says, I'm made from recycled game consoles. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but back in the day, I used to be big into uh, video games and stuff like that. So I thought this was really cool that this was made from recycled game consoles. You know, it's uh, that whole green initiative. You have this one right here, which is, uh, you know, the top comes off. Uh, same, same brand, Remarkable. But this one says, I'm made from recycled CD cases. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but last time I bought a CD was a while back, but it's pretty cool to see that, you know, now I can get a pen that's made from those CD cases. Uh, so those those two are, are pretty cool, something I picked up. And these I actually picked up at the uh, World of Coca-Cola exhibition in downtown Atlanta. And I picked it up with this, uh, this little notebook, you know, it's always good to have writing paper. And this one says, I used to be a plastic box. So... It's pretty cool that uh, Coke and uh, this remarkable brand are getting together to, to pump these out because it's, it's good for the environment, but it's also cool, you know, cool looking when you carry it around. So, got those. On uh, my way down, I, we stopped in Orlando and I visited the downtown Disney attraction, which has the, store, the Lego store. I don't know if you guys have been there, but it's really cool. Uh, it kind of brings back a lot of memories from my childhood and whatnot. So, I picked this while I was there. Thought it was really cool. It's a, it's a salt and pepper shaker, um, and it's it just it, it's made to resemble um, like Lego blocks, which is really cool. It's really small, something nice to set set on the uh, on top of the stove or whatnot or on the table, you know, to use. Um, so I figured that was pretty cool, you know, a little knickknack that I picked up. And then I also picked this up, and um, I don't know how many of you guys remember these guys. These are your, your typical little Lego guys. But, um, you know, with, the, with growing up and, you know, not playing with Legos anymore, um, I figured this was a really good uh, mixture be between my childhood and my adulthood. And that went along with the, you know, just the idea of, you know, of, of us guys here on YouTube and, and guys too, sorry. Um, with the whole reviewing and different uh, knives and guns and stuff like that and you know why 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 you ask well uh, came along with this um, this is actually a headband you know it's uh, it's an elastic headband with velcro closure and if you guys can see back here it's got a little foam padding and what it is is you know you, you attach it to, to the band and oh, turn it on and it's actually a headlight Press a little Lego logo in the middle of his chest right there, and it's a headlight. And I thought that was really, really ingenious and really cool. You can point one of the legs down to so use, like, maybe while you're walking, and the other one to use forward. Uh, but this, uh, you know, obviously I, I'd probably never use this um, in an application, maybe if I'm playing with my son or something, but, you know, not, not in, a, in a survival or outdoor application. But I just thought it was really cool that... You know, this this kind of it was a little nostalgic for me. It, it merged both, like I said, my childhood and my adulthood likes. Because I, I was really into Legos when I was younger, so you know, I I, I really like the fact that it's uh, you know it kept it kept with that, and then it has the practical applications of the LED light. And I mean, they're they're pretty bright. You know, if if, if you had to use it, you know, in, in a pinch or something. I mean, you know, not not that I'm gonna. This is the first thing I'm gonna be grabbing for, but you know, it's pretty cool that it's there. Uh, it's very inconspicuous. You can sit it, you know, maybe at, at your desk, you know, if, if you're one of those people that has a desk job and, you know, you have, you know, you can sit it in your desk and it just say, hey, you know, it's, you know, one of my son's toys or something that I brought to work. And then 
lights go out, you know, and oh, you know, you can just grab for that and maybe look for your actual flashlight or whatnot. So I thought that was pretty cool. So definitely, um, I had a great time on my vacation. Um, as I mentioned in one of the videos I posted, if you guys are within uh, driving distance from either Atlanta uh, or the downtown Atlanta area, you know, definitely, you know, look into it. It's a very cheap, very enjoyable vacation. Uh, if you go to the world of Coca-Cola and the aquarium, it's, uh, it's a lot to do. you got a full day and doing both of them. And then, uh, obviously, you know, if you can drive down to, to Orlando, there's, there's tons and tons of things to do there. You know, you got the Lego store, like I said, and just all the other attractions. So, you know, feel free to ask me any questions if you guys want. Um, I'm not going to do any review on anything on this because I'm actually not going to use it. But, um, you know, if you guys want to know anything else, uh, uh, let me know. All right, guys? Thanks.